Hi, I'm Alex from Brownell Boat Stands, here to introduce a brand new product in our line. This is our workshop service station. It's going to make your life easier working on lower units, outdrives, and small outboards. This is our lower unit and outdrive setup, adjustable forks, fine adjustment, and coarse adjustment. Going to get you down to about 6 inches and out to about 15 inches. That's going to get you up to anywhere from your smaller outboards up to your, your, your 400s. A couple of unique features. Each of these three black handles are repositionable. So if it's in the wrong spot, you can uh, pick it up, move it around, and you can always get the leverage that you need to clamp it down really tight or to break it loose. To reposition the whole top, lower that unit, that handle. You can spin the whole thing around anywhere you need to fit the job or, or to fit your shop. Clamp it down tight. Once you have your lower unit mounted up, loosen this guy. And a unique feature to, to our unit, you have a positive locking pin on this side. So you can rotate and lock it in at 45 degrees. So when your big lower unit or your outboard uh, is in, it doesn't want to, the whole unit doesn't want to rotate on you. So you lock it at 45, 90, you can flip the whole thing upside down if you need to lock it right in, the pin clicks in, and you're good to go. Then you clamp down on the tensioning handle and it locks it in rock solid. It locks out as well, so you don't need to hold the pin while you're adjusting. You get it where you want, pop it loose, lock it in. So we'll go ahead and grab our lower unit. So here's our lower unit off a of Yamaha 350, sitting on our stern drive rack. Uh, SDR1, that's one of our shop products, also available in a four unit. Holds your stern drives and lower units. Before you try to pick it up and mount it, quick measurement of the cavitation plate, about seven and a half inches. Check the distance between the, the top flanges there to make sure it's gonna fit in without falling through. It's a little wide. That ought to do it. Clamp it down tight. There's an Acme threaded rod inside there that allows you to get it really clamped down. Once it's nice and tight, you'll feel it kind of lock in. That's good to go. <clears throat> now, if you're uh, working up top here, you leave it right like that. If you want to rotate and get to your, maybe pull your water pump, loosen your locking pin, make sure your handle's loose, rotate it wherever you want to go, release that pin, locks right into place and you're good to go. Clamp it down to make it nice and tight. Now you can come around, pull your water pump without trying to reach up over that long shaft. Same thing with your prop, you can get in there, do whatever you need to do with your zincs, your anodes. Locks in at every 45 degrees, you can go 45, 90, you can flip it all the way upside down if you want, either direction works. You can get it in any position you need. We'll drop it back down. And again, with the unit, lower unit mounted, you can loosen up this handle. If you decide you want to rotate it around anywhere you need to go, you can do it. That's our lower unit. That same setup works for your stern drives as well. So we'll swap over and take a look at our small upward. Retaining pin goes in. Loosen your pin, your locking pin. That's good, clamp it down. Rotate it back. Get your outboard. Drop it right on there. Clamp her down nice and tight. You're good to go. Now, if you want to leave it like that and work on the engine, you can. Same thing with the rotation. If you want to tilt it up uh, and pull the lower unit, work on the prop, you can do that as well. The locking pin is especially useful for these outboards where all that weight is hanging on one side and wants to pitch the whole thing over. Just this uh, clamping mechanism sometimes isn't enough to keep the outboard upright. 
So you lock that, uh, that positive locking pin in and it can't go anywhere. This whole unit is available as a complete unit, but if you already have uh, different units in your workshop, if you already have a pedestal, you can buy the T-mount and the outboard or lower unit fixture and they'll fit right into the units you already have. Or if you buy a new pedestal, but you have the fixtures from your old unit, same thing, they'll fit right into the pedestal. Uh, interchangeable with the industry standard. There it is, our workshop service station from Brownell Boat Sands. Thanks for watching.